Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am back with the Random Blind Bag Box and today we are going to be picking five random blind bags or boxes to open up today. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna just grab a handful here. So we've got the Series 10 Squishville uh, blind box, blind capsule. We've got the LOL Surprise Crayola series. I love this series. And then we've got the Disney 100 Years of Wonder Zoom Zoom Celebration Series 1 pack. So we just need two more. Let's see what we've got. I have two. Oh, I thought they were the same one. They felt like the same size. We have the LOL Surprise Miniature Collection. And we have this mini verse make it mini food this is the uh, cafe series two all right let's go ahead and see what we got inside each pack let's start off with the tsum tsum mystery pack this is the series one of the celebration series and these are the ones that there are to collect i'd love to find tramp that would be really fun to collect that one. Oh maui i need maui all right let's open this up this one actually seems pretty flat though so i have no idea who this could be Ooh, darla all right sorry there's so many i want oh <gasps> Oh, it's tramp, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna actually show you the checklist even though the checklist is basically on the back. Across the Celebration series, there's actually, or this Disney 100 Years of Wonder, there's going to be five series. So feel free to pause at any of uh, these so you can look in detail. But of course we have the series one here, so we're looking for these ones. All right, we have tramp. I saw the spaghetti and I was like, oh my gosh, okay. We've got Tramp. I'm so excited. I love the little spaghetti. It's so cute. All right, so here's Tramp. It's a little tag. And then we have the spaghetti. It looks amazing. Spaghetti and meatballs. And then he's supposed to be able to sit in here. Honestly, I'm not sure which way he's supposed to go. I feel like this way is the best way. It's kind of, it's a little weird. Like a little wonky. Maybe this way. I don't know. How's he sitting in his picture? He's sitting like with two meatballs. Oh, kind of like this maybe? No, like this. Like this? Like this. I don't know. He sits in there somehow. I'm gonna guess this way. It just seems like he fits better that way. We're going with it. But I love the spaghetti, it looks great. The next one we're opening is this Series 10 Squishville by Squishmallows. Blind capsule. It has one Squishmallow fashion accessory inside, and I adore all of these Squishville characters with their little outfits. They're so cute. So let's see what we have. Oh my goodness. Is this a little kitty cat with a little picture sweater? Oh my gosh. I'm not sure what this is. No, it's not a cat. Well, maybe. It has a short tail. It could be. It could be a dog, could be a cat, could be, what do, you, what do we think this is? Let me know in the comments below, but so super soft, all plush, all the Squishmallow goodness. Um, the eyes and the nose and mouth are embroidered and just looks overall amazing. Really, I'm very excited for this one. I love the little sweater that has the camera printed on there. But this is our cutie, I love this one. A little short tail. So cute. I love the little tie-dye belly as well. Let me go ahead and put this back on. Come on. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's open up. I guess we can go for the mini LOL first before we do the big LOL. But this is the miniature collection. 24 minis to collect. These, oh, I love anything mini. These are so cute. Let's open it up and see. Oh, wait, we have two layers of plastic here. Let's get this next layer open. Ta-da! Here we go. And we have all of this good stuff in here. We've got a checklist, which is in the shape of a capsule. Love it. All right, let's see. We have each, each mini has its own little page here. But look at all of these fun ones. I will take any of them, honestly. They're all so cute. They have like the OMG doll and then the little, like the little sister, not the little sister, like the tots, that's what they're called, the tots. And then a bottle and a box, so cute. All right, let's see, this is going to be the doll reveal, it'll be the doll. And we have, I'm not sure which one this one is, I know which one it is, I've, I just am not sure of the name right off the top of my head. Um, let me see, let me see. Teacher's Pet, that's it. Teacher's Pet looks so cute. It's a little dark. 
but I promise, super cute. <laughs> I'm not sure why it's so dark. Anyway, love the details on these. They're so amazing. Like these do not get enough hype. And then we have, wait a minute, weren't we supposed to get a box with this? Oh, here it is. I was like, I lost it. But here is our little tot. And they are on these stands as well. And then let's open up this. This is going to be the bottle. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, stop. Like, so cute. And then the box, which I meant to open up first, but whoops. So the box is just, it's a box. It's just empty. It's not anything, anything like too special. You could probably store your guys in here or your gals in here, but class prez. Actually, wait, this is class prez. Wait, did I read it wrong? Oh yeah, class prez and teacher's pet. So those are, class prez is it all and teacher's pet is the, the tot. Anyway, super cute. I love these LOL miniatures. They're definitely top favorite of mine. And then let's open up our Crayola LOL surprise. These are so fun. I am obsessed with these. Now there are nine you can collect. Nine different colors. Of course, I am after a few of them still. I did a regular opening of these channel where I opened up three capsules I think it was. Make sure you check that out if you're interested but you can see some of the friends here. This is one I'm after here. Well one of the ones I'm after. All right I'm looking for the tear strip. Here it is. Okay but these ones are really cool. They just they feel different from regular lol dolls. They are such beautiful bright colors and they're in collaboration with Crayola which is really awesome. Okay here's all of our stuff. Let's see, I guess we'll look at the checklist first. So we'll go through here. And you can pause if you see one you really wanna see in depth. And here are the rest of them. So pretty. Love the, the rainbow colors are just amazing. All right, should we open up our doll first, I suppose? Ooh. Okay, this one is Cotton Candy Sweetie. These are just so cool. They're just so different from LOLs, like the regular ones. The hair feels different. They just have a different feel. Look at the makeup on this one though. It looks amazing. I love the light makeup. And then you have this little bodysuit printed on. Love the hair. The hair is definitely squishy, or I guess I should say the head is squishier than usual. Uh, squishier than past LOL series. So we have a little beret for her. So let's put that on. Ta-da. <laughs> And then we have, oh, we have a little crayon bag for her. It does open up and you can close it. We have her, oh, it's a little scarf, stop. I love the scarf. And it's like the clothes and the accessories are way more flexible so they're easy to get on and off of the doll. It's just so much better. We have this Crayola, like this is the bottle but it's like a little milkshake kind of thing. And we have, oh, the outfit, of course. Of course we're gonna have the outfit. It's super cute with the, like, the snowy, wintry look to it. And last but not least, we have the shoes, the boots. And of course you can see that they're all themed after this color, which, love it. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and get her dressed in her little wintry attire here. So let me go ahead and Pop this on. Perfect. So you see there's her top and then we have the little skirt here and it says Crayola all over it. Look how cute she looks. I'm obsessed. And then she has her little shoes, boots. I just love the little white leggings that are painted on. That's great. Oh, her scarf. I almost forgot her scarf. I gotta get the scarf on. Gotta stay warm. Although it's almost springtime. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's her outfit. She looks so cute. Where's the capsule? Because that acts as a stand. I need to use the stand. So we can go ahead and stick her in there. Now she does have her purse and her bottle that I will stick back here. And then that brings us to our last one, which is the Miniverse Make It Mini Food Cafe Series 2. 
All right, let's open this up and see which one we got. I actually still am looking for this uh, candy corn one here on the front. I definitely would love to find that one. I think there's a few that I'm still looking for from this series. So hopefully we'll find it. If you haven't seen already on the channel, I opened up 100. I didn't have 100 mini verse make it mini foods opening it was insane and it's a very long video but you guys will love it even if you it takes you a few days to watch a few few weeks to watch it it's it's worth the watch you get to see so many cool ones all right here's all of the stuff let's put this capsule off to the side now we'll go through the checklist oh goodness let's go through the checklist all right let's start over here Try to do both layers at a time. So we have drinks, we have desserts, we have oops the savories, which I'm after all the savories always. I've actually never found the caramel popcorn or the unicorn popcorn. I'd love to find both of those. Um, even these guys would be fun to get. I have found some of those before, but I definitely would love a chance to make them over again. Let's see what we have. First up, it's nuts. Nuts. What the heck's this gonna be? It's my first clue. <laughs> Nuts. Um, we have glaze. Wait, are these popcorn kernels? No, wait, hold on. We might have just got popcorn. Wait, why would we have nuts on our popcorn? Oh, caramel corn maybe? Does that have nuts typically? I have no idea. All right, let's see what's in this one. Oh, it is the popcorn. Yes, that's the most exciting news. Okay, and then let's see what's in this one. We've got the bowl. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, what are, how are we gonna do this? Um, I don't think I'll need the utensils. Let's see what kind of utensils. Oh, that's actually a spoon. And then we got the uh, tongs. I don't really need the tongs though for this. I feel like I need to move this down though so we can kind of see what's going on. Uh, I used to have extra tables here, but I don't. I think I have one. Oh wait, no, I do. We're good. I'll bring a table in. Okay. So we'll set the popcorn bowl right on the table. And I guess, usually I'll use the capsule to mix things together. Maybe I should do that so it's a little bit neater. So we can look at the checklist. Hold on, let me get the guide. This is our little recipe card where it shows us we just pour it in both the nuts and the popcorn, and then we pour the sauce on and we stir it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little a little creative. We're gonna get the capsule piece. I just have so many capsules, I like to use them for this, this exact situation. So I'm gonna open up our glaze, and we do have a squeezy top, which is very nice, very handy, love that for us, but I don't think I'll use it quite yet. I could definitely use it at the end when I'm doing like my toppings, but what I'm gonna do, Stop. Look at these little popcorns, you guys. Can I even show you? Oh, I lost one. Here it is. Like, that's a little popcorn. Stop. <laughs> I'm going to dump some popcorns in here. Probably do half the bag, I guess, to start. More than half the bag. It looks like they're different colors, too. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe it's just my imagination. We start like this, and then we'll add some caramel in. Okay. And then... I kind of want to use a toothpick to mix this so I don't get it all clumped in on the spoon. Let's try this. So it's all starting to stick to the caramel. <laughs> Gotta make sure these make it back in there. And, oh goodness, cat hair, sorry, there's a lot of cats running around here. Okay, so it's actually starting to look really good and definitely like caramel corn. And then about the nuts, I just feel like the nuts should be a topping. I'm actually gonna look at the picture one more time. I think they did, they just mixed it in. So I guess I should just mix the nuts in. If that's a thing. I really, I've had caramel corn before, but I've never had any with nuts in it, as far as I remember. All right, so I just put in a few, and then we'll mix these in. And then we'll kind of scoop it into the bowl. And then I'll probably maybe put a little extra glaze on the top. I feel like it's kind of necessary, right? Should I put a little... I feel like putting a little bit more in here because we want our corn extra, extra caramelly. <laughs> All right. 
So now, let's go ahead and spoon it in, or scoop it in, I should say. Hopefully this will all fit. It seems like it'll all fit. All right, I'm gonna actually stop for a second and kind of situate it in the bowl. This is so cool. I love this. And then you can even do so many variations of popcorn too if you have like extra mini verse ingredients. Actually, I might need more popcorn. <laughs> kind of want to make sure it's like kind of stacked here hold on let me keep those in there and then kind of situate it to where it looks like our bowl is full but also we want to kind of position the kernels to make them look I don't know upright and <laughs> not just spilled in there all right here we go these are our last ones let's go ahead and stick that in there's one more in here all right now I'm just gonna push down on this a little bit and then we'll go ahead and I think I'm definitely gonna do a glaze just like over the top kind of want to have these all sitting a certain way but that's not too bad I quite like it I quite like what we've made this one seems a little out of place that looks good all right let's put that there dare I just go ahead in and squeeze it on I'm gonna do a dollop like that. I could have used the squeezy top, but I'm just doing a dollop because I'm gonna use this to spread it a little bit. I don't know, maybe using the squeezy top would have been better. <laughs> I think I like it like this though. It looks good. And then we just make sure everything is the facing the way I want it. And I think we'll go ahead and cure it like that. And we can definitely come back and add on more caramel or more corn. We don't have a ton of corn left, but I could definitely add some more, not tons. But I love it. I love how the bowl is transparent so you could actually see through. It's not like, you know, like a solid color bowl where I can't see the layers of the popcorn. And this is what it's like. You can make such a cool creation with this, with doing like you could do a layer of popcorn, then you can do a layer of like pink glaze from like your extra donuts or whatever and then you could do more popcorn and then you do like blue glaze and you'd still be able to see it there's just the popcorn is so cool because you can make so many different things with it <laughs> anyway this is almost done i could definitely do also do a sprinkle of nuts on the top too i just i'm still like shocked that that's a thing <laughs> anyway that's gonna do it for our popcorn look at that so good. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which of these items we opened up today is your top favorite. I am honestly having a hard time choosing a favorite because originally it was going to be Tramp because I love the little spaghetti. Then it was going to be the LOL minis because they're just so cute and so detailed. Now it's the popcorn, but I did love the, the LOL tot as well. The, the pink one. What was her name? Cotton Candy Sweetie. She just looks gorgeous in her outfit, but ultimately... I'm going to have to choose the caramel corn as my favorite, but this one, this one is really tough. But let me know your favorite in the comments. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.